Um, so for those who don't know Netgear, um, we are behind Telstra's um, leading range of mobile broadband products, as Toby said. Um, you, you would know, of course, our prepaid 785, you would know about our, our postpaid products. Um, we've had a relationship, a partnership with Telstra for a decade. Um, we were the, the guys who helped Telstra get the first 21 megabit per second product. Um, in fact, I've got a certificate on my wall with my office for a Guinness World Record because we helped Telstra get uh, to the first uh, HSPA Plus uh, product. And we also uh, launched the first 4G product. So we've been there at all, all the various milestones for, for mobile broadband. And of course, that's now all about uh, mobile hotspots. Uh, what, what you may not know, though, is that we're also behind uh, a lot of Telstra gateway products. We've been supplying uh, cable gateways into Telstra now for you know, also nearly a decade. Um, and we also have a range of accessory products and uh, uh, network extenders and whole raft of things. So we're not just about mobile, we have, we have a wide range of products. What we are about, uh, you know, usually, is technology leadership. Um, so as I said, we, we were first with HSPA Plus, we were first with 4G. Uh, we've got a Category 9 product that's on its way, which will come into uh, you know, visibility for you guys in the next few months. Um, but we're also you know, one of the first partners to help develop out the 700 uh, megahertz selection for Telstra um, 4GX network. All that stuff is the stuff we partner with Telstra on. Uh, what you may not also know is that we also partner on the whole customer advocacy side of things. So the improvements and the leadership that Telstra has against uh, the competitors uh, around data usage meters and on-device recharge and those types of things that really help customers understand uh, what's going on with their mobile broadband plans. Um, We've been developing that uh, with Telstra for some time when we brought those uh, uh, technologies to market. Um, and of course we provide ongoing support. We have local, local teams in Australia and we, uh, we, we support across the spread of marketing and training and technology as well. So that's, that's us in a nutshell. I, I did want to focus today on two specific uh, product areas for the masterclass. Uh, the first one was you know, a bit of a 101 on our new smart cradle. We've had a um, standard cradle, standard charging cradle for mobile hotspots in our range for some time. And recently we uh, augmented that with uh, a new product called the Smart Cradle. And essentially uh, what it does is it transforms a personal hotspot for mobile broadband into a whole of home gateway. Um, in fact, um, you know, if you've got a, a 785, a prepaid 785 device which has a personal Wi-Fi bubble, quite small and it's only a Wi-Fi N bubble. If you put that into the smart cradle, it turns it into a Wi-Fi AC 2x2 concurrent Wi-Fi solution. And why is that important? And that's because you know you can connect more devices uh, in more places in the home and it turns it from basically being a personal device into a whole home gateway. Um, the other thing that's important if you you know go to the back of the device it's got four LAN ports, uh, WPS button, in fact you can connect up the antennas, external antennas, so if you get a rural area uh, and then you can't get fixed line services and you're looking for a whole home solution, suddenly you can sell the customer not only a mobile hotspot but a you know, fully fledged gateway solution um, in one. So that's, that's in, uh, in the market at the moment, it has both Wi-Fi antennas, it has internal LC, LTE antennas, 3G antennas as well, uh, so doing very, very well. Um, key use cases for that, as I said, um, you, you've been seeing people who are on the road, um, potentially people in camper vans, you're seeing people setting up home offices, we've got them in works, uh, site sheds, um, you know, the students and, and renters who don't want to get into, into fixed uh, products, um, you know, for various reasons. Uh, those, those customers at the moment are buying USB dongles or, or mobile broadband devices. Um, but really what they're after is a full home solution, like a big solution, um, and, and, and currently we're only selling them personal solutions uh, with small, small personal Wi-Fi bubbles. So this, this actually is, is actually a better fit for that, that customer proposition and, and for that customer sale. So that's, that's really all I wanted to do, to do there on the Smart to introduce that. The, uh, the next thing I want to talk about um, was Smart Home. And you'll be hearing from Telstra a lot about uh, smart home uh, as, uh, as the opportunity in the future. But essentially, we see smart home as having the best in home Wi Fi. Uh, and we've been working with Telstra to provide the best Wi Fi experiences in our gateways. Uh, we see it as in home connectivity solutions, uh, ultimately, 
uh, you know, you can have a great Wi-Fi gateway, but it does not always necessarily reach every corner of the home. Uh, so there's a range of power line, uh, Wi-Fi extenders, in fact we've got a 2x2 two two, uh, Elegant AC Wi-Fi extender coming into the market in the next few months, uh, which is you know, world leading. Um, and it's also then the home monitoring and automation uh, uh, products, cameras, uh, uh, sensors, uh, even media players, that ultimately allow the home to be fully connected to the wall. And you'll hear Tosh to to talk about wall to wall Wi-Fi uh, a lot as well. Um, so we play in all of those spaces, but what I want to introduce to you today, um, um, once we talk through obviously some of the benefits of a smart home, lifestyle, peace of mind, energy efficiency, and of course smart entertainment, but what I, what I want to introduce to you today is our new product, Arlo. And if you've been to our stand, you would have seen uh, the, the, the box, um, uh, the standard kit, the two camera kit. You would have, um, you would have also seen you know, cameras. Like in any way, they're uh, um, obviously magnetic. Um, as I've set them up in my home, talk about ease of installation. I've just whacked them on garden pipes and uh, garden taps around the house, pointing into to paths so I can see what's going on. Um, fully, um, fully weatherproof, of course. But what I'll do is I'll play this quick video to just summarise uh, the high-level composition and give you a flavour of what Arlo is, and then I'll go into some of the detail. Being safe is very important to us. So when we're looking for a home security system, we were looking for one that had high definition cameras. Something that didn't have a lot of wires. And cameras that we could put up discreetly throughout the house. And when we found Arlo, the choice was a no-brainer. Installation was very simple. Because it doesn't require any cords, we can get creative about where we put it. We can just move them to keep an eye on our baby. You have the batteries that are long lasting, so I can have it installed outside. You get email alerts, and it works with motion sensors. When we go on vacation, we always know that we can stay connected and know what's going on with the house. So Arlo gives us peace of mind at work and at night. Arlo has definitely made an impact in our lives. It's really made being safe simple. Essentially what we did is we went to the market and we did some research around what customers would be looking for in a smart home product like Arlo. Um, and they told us overwhelmingly that the video quality obviously had to be high quality. Um, they wanted cameras that were 100% wire free. They wanted the flexibility of being able to put a camera wherever they wanted without having to run a power point. Uh, that could be in a tree outside pointing in towards the front door. Um, they obviously wanted night vision because you know half the time it's dark. Um, and they wanted to be able to know when an event was happening, so clearly motion detection. Um, capability to have an indoor outdoor, you know, highly regarded, and clearly the thing that really makes these things shine is how they work on a mobile device uh, through the app. So a really intuitive app, uh, something that would work across a range of platforms, something where I could control it all from the app without having to log in and spend a, a lot of time uh, working it through. So, so all those key features that the market was looking for, they became the key requirements for, for the product and, uh, and ultimately are, are all capabilities that were built into the Arlo itself. Cameras themselves, uh, resolution 720p, you know, obviously 100% wireless with batteries uh, on board. Um, they are IP65 rated, so you know, of course what that means is that they can get wet, but you can't put them in your swimming pool and see the turtles swimming around, that, that wouldn't work. Um, but, um, but clearly our, our doors work fine. Um, and uh, at the moment there's an iOS and Android app. There actually is an uh, Amazon Kindle app, but that's not so relevant for the Australian market. Typical uses, um, you know, the things that um, we, we're learning uh, from this is that everybody has a, a use case for themselves. It could be that uh, you want to see the kids arriving home from school. It could be that you're, you've got something on your, your pets and just want, want to know what they're doing. Um, but the use cases are obviously quite wide and, and uh, with uh, the wireless application uh, what we find is that the use cases themselves can be even wider. So all I wanted to talk about Arlo, we, we launched it in Australia uh, this week. We had 37 journalists um, come to a presentation earlier this week uh, and, and there's been lots of press this week written about it so please jump online and, and see some of the commentary uh, independently from those journalists. Um, 
but it's been something in the US and been very, very popular and we hope that uh, over the next uh, few months it will become more widely uh, available in Australia and we hope you guys will get on board. That's it for the masterclass. And, uh, oh, you, found, some, you yeah. found some? Okay. Yes, questions? For, for Arlo? So Arlo is, for the two camera kit, Arlo in, in the Australian market is currently retailing RR, I think, at about 550. Yeah, so, so, I mean, it's obviously password protected and um, you could give a user a username and password so you could enable somebody else to, to log in but of course it's a secure environment and it's protected by that uh, but that, that is entirely in your control and then through that app you can set up a whole host of rules um, that turn cameras on and off um, and, and make them available so it's quite, it's quite intuitive in terms of its management there. Yeah, so it's a bit of a freemium model, and, and by that, if you go up to five cameras, uh, it doesn't cost you anything um, for, for the uh, cloud services that allow you to, to view the images. Um, you can go, it scales up to uh, 15 cameras, um, and then uh, we can actually scale up their service around uh, cloud support. Um, but if you're going up to 15 cameras at the very maximum end, and, and you know, multiple base stations in multiple locations, maybe one of your holiday home, you know, it's about $120 a year for the subscription to, to manage that is, is, is the cost. Yeah. How far away from this base can it go? So it's, it's quite remarkable how far it can go. Um, if it's line of sight, it'll be uh, 100 feet. Now, I've, I've got uh, it set up in my home and it's easily 100 feet and I've got one in the shed and, and the base station's up in the house and I'm, I'm on a 40-acre farm, so the shed's you know, not next to the house. Um, I put one on my garden tap on my drive you know, way down the driveway, which would be easily 100 feet. So the issue with distance, though, is that, um, well, first of all, the app tells you when you're getting too far away. So, so you know where, where the break point is, um, and you can see what the bars of, of Wi-Fi is, and the app tells you when you're running out of battery, and all that sort of stuff. Um, but you, you will see a more quicker use of battery performance if it's right at the very edge. Uh, but typically, we're saying between four and six months is the, is the average use for the batteries. It is, yeah. So, I mean, this is the great thing about this cradle. It's backward compatible on products that were previously sold, like the 782. It works on the current products, the 785 and the 790, and our Category 9 product that we bring out will, will work on that as well. So the idea was to have, you know, the, the flexibility of one product to stay in the range without, you know, you know excess five Category 9. Oh, well, Category 9 will be in the second half of the year, but it'll probably be deep in the second half. It's really... Telstra was terminal, it's going to work.